people over there, thank you very much. It's a real honor. You tell me whenever you're ready, I'm ready. You ready? Well, I'm thrilled to be on line with heroic members of the United States military, incredible people. I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to have a great year. We have a year coming up. The foundations are ready for one of the best years we've ever had. We have with us six units deployed all across the world, representing every branch of the armed forces. Many of you are very far from home. But today, we hope you know that millions of American families are praying in gratitude for the sacrifices you make and the incredible, absolutely incredible job you do. As president, I want to personally express my profound thanks to each and every one of you for your devoted service to our nation. Our nation is doing very well. It's the highest honor of my life to serve as your commander in chief. Representing the Army today, I want to recognize Lieutenant Colonel Timothy Redhair and the United States Army 36th Infantry Division. Tremendous people from your base in Kuwait. You support our fight against radical Islamic terrorism and help combat Iranian aggression. We salute you. Thank you very much. And you'll say perhaps a few words in a little while. We appreciate it very much, Timothy. From the Marines, we have Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force based in Kuwait, which conducts crisis response throughout the Middle East. Colonel Andrew Pridey, your warriors bring the fight straight to the enemy so that American families can sleep soundly at home. We've been building up our military. We spent $2.5 trillion in the last three and a half years. And uh, we've never had anything like it in terms of equipment and all of the elements that we put together. Space Force, we're very proud of, brand new. Nobody thought that could happen. So uh, we spent two and a half, think of that, two and a half trillion dollars, all new tanks and missiles and rockets and everything is tippy top. Nobody thought we could ever get there. We've done it quickly. Most of the equipment is there. Much of it is there. Most of it's coming. The rest of it's coming in over the next, I would say, six months to 12 months, all made in the USA, which is very good. But every American owes you a debt of thanks, and we appreciate it. Also with us are men and women of the US Navy aboard the USS Winston Churchill. It's a beauty. Led by Commander Timothy Shanley. You're deployed in the Red Sea, where you deter terrorists, defend freedom of navigation, and escort ships through the Strait of Hormuz. Your magnificent ship is a powerful symbol of peace through strength. And that's what we have now is peace through strength. You look at what's going on, no wars. They're saying, wow, the president, four years, no wars. We stopped wars and we won, as you know, 100% of the ISIS caliphate in Syria, Iraq. We've done a job. Welcome as well to everyone at Ali Al Salam Air Base in Kuwait including Major Tommy Rutherford and the 386 Expeditionary Logistics Readiness Squadron. Thank you very much, Tommy. Your mission support our soldiers on the ground and deliver precious cargo where it needs to go, including transporting 18 tons of medical equipment during the China virus pandemic. Keep up the outstanding work. Great job you've done. I hear all about it. It's amazing work you do. From the United States Space, and this is a very important thing to me, the Space Force, because it's 75 years since the Air Force. This is the first one, new branch. The United States Space Force, we're joined by Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer and the 11th Space Warning Squadron, that sounds great, at Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado. You keep watch around the world to detect missile launches, space launches, and nuclear detonations while providing critical intelligence. All of you are pioneers in the newest branch of our armed forces. And again, it's very special to me, that new branch, because that was something that I felt was necessary. And I never said it during a campaign. I said it after I became president. I saw what was happening with China and Russia and others. 
and uh, it's really something. So we're very proud of it. Finally, we have with us members of the U.S. Coast Guard Port Security Unit 308 under Captain General Rocco. You're joined with us from Guantanamo Bay, where you secure our coastal waters, combat drug traffickers, escort vessels, and protect our forces in the region. On American shores and beyond, the Coast Guard has always made America proud. I want to tell you, I was here two years ago in Texas. You saved thousands and thousands of people. That was incredible. The job the Coast Guard has done. And now we have all new ships coming to the Coast Guard, yet old ships. And they were as good as they could be, but they were very old. And now you have brand new Coast Guard ships, and it's my honor to have gotten them for you. Today, I send you the love, gratitude, respect, and prayers of our entire nation. Once again, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. You're doing an incredible job, and your country is doing well. We just set a record in the stock market, over 30,000 in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Over 30,000. Think of that. Nobody ever thought we were going to hit that. During a pandemic, the whole world is suffering this tremendous pandemic, not just us, the world. And uh, doesn't you wouldn't know that to listen to the news reports, but the whole world is uh, suffering. And uh, we're, we are rounding the curve. The vaccines are being delivered literally. It'll start next week and the week after. And it'll hit the frontline workers and seniors and uh, doctors, nurses, a lot of people are going to start, and we're going very quickly. Two companies already announced, a third one coming up, and a fourth and fifth one coming up soon also. So it's, uh, some people have called it a medical, really a miracle. It could have taken four or five years to do this. Normally, it probably would have taken four or five years, just getting it through the FDA. We pushed it very hard. But I want to thank you all. I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And let's, maybe if we could start, uh, anybody would like to raise their hand? Go ahead. We'll start with you. Thank you very much. How's it? Yes, go ahead, please, please. That's fantastic. And how is Kuwait doing? That's great. Well, you're doing a fantastic job, and we appreciate it. And thank you very much, Colonel. Tremendous uh, to be with you. Happy Thanksgiving. Say uh, hello and a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And we'll see you soon. Thank you for the job you do. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Colonel, go ahead, please. Marine Corps. Thank you. Andrew, go ahead, please, if you're ready. Does he hear me? Maybe not. Oh, there he is. Is that Andrew? Marine Corps? Good afternoon, Mr. President. I have a Thanksgiving. Uh, as you said, a uh, uh, special purpose for the Air Ground Task Force uh, deployed here from. Uh, I've been here since May and uh, February. Uh, we have Marines in nine countries. We are very responsible here in CENTCOM, and it's, it's truly an honor to serve. And I really want to take a quick moment to recognize uh, Sergeant Romero Vasquez, who's sitting to my left. He's from uh, Los Angeles, California, and uh, Gregory serving here uh, in that Sergeant, go ahead, please. I think it's, a, it's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, just talking to you in person, it's, uh, it's a really great honor. And uh, it's, 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 uh, it's a great place here in uh, Kuwait. You know, I love what I do. 
I love serving my country. Thank you very much. Great job. We appreciate it very much. Well, thank you very much and good luck with everything. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Navy. Tim, go ahead. Hey, good evening, Mr. President. This is uh, Commander Tim Shanley, uh, CEO of the USS Winston S. Churchill, currently patrolling the waters of the Middle East. On behalf of the 352 sailors uh, that are assigned to our ship, I'd like to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, sir. Uh, we've, we've been under pay since this, uh, you know, we deployed earlier this summer, and, uh, and we've got underway. We've traveled over 30,000 miles so far through the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, uh, Red Sea, all the way to the uh, Arabian Gulf and, and uh, back. So we've, uh, we've sustained some solid operations out here. Uh, conducting uh, escort operations, overwatch, um, counter piracy, illicit tra counter illicit trafficking, and uh, one of the things I wanted to highlight, sir, was uh, the visit board search and seizure team uh, that's right behind me. Uh, we got uh, Lieutenant J.P. Harris, OS2 Robinson, GM2, GM2 Larkin. GM2 Cyprian, GM2 Medina, ICC Cornell, and we have RS3 Coleman. Uh, directly to my right is my uh, executive officer, Commander Brian Anthony, and to my left is uh, Command Master Chief Juan Navarro. It's our, it's our honor to be on this BTC, sir. I wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, it's great to be here, sir. Well, I want to thank you very much. Is that the engines I hear behind you? That sounds like a powerful group. It sounds like waves crashing into the ship, but uh, it's a beautiful sound. It's a beautiful sound. Are you enjoying what you're doing, Tim? Absolutely. Yes, sir, Mr. President. It's, uh, it's so fulfilling being out here. Uh, I have, you know, people say other things are America's team, but I, I am in command of America's team out here. Yeah, it's great. And your equipment is getting newer and newer, better and better. We're building a lot of ships right now, as you know, and you'll have them very soon. And I just want to congratulate you, everybody, but I want to congratulate you. Great job with the Navy. We appreciate it very much, Tim. Thank you. So the Air Force. We'll do the Air Force, please, please. Tommy. All right. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Hi. Uh, it's truly an honor to see this afternoon. Um, uh, I, was, I was glad to hear you so much about our unit, so I won't talk too much about us, but I will tell you that also in this room today, we were able to invite our, one of our sister units here, which is the VA-6 um, Expeditionary Security Forces. So we got uh, the, some folks here that represent 240 defenders here on the ground that protect 650, uh, 650 uh, sorry, 100 Joint Coalition and Contractor Personnel here in Kuwait. Uh, also super proud to be able to uh, obviously represent American interest out here and uh, super excited to talk to you today as well. Uh, two folks I wanted to highlight who could not be here with us today, these two units um, lost individuals during this rotation, which was uh, Sergeant Goulet and Senior Airman Fan. Great Americans, uh, one from each of the units that's represented here and uh, your, your conversation with us is a great morale boost, so uh, much appreciated for you doing that, sir. Well, I appreciate it. I love doing it, actually, and I'm very proud of it because we've spent so much. You know, when we took over, our military was very depleted. You know that very well. You know it probably better than most with the Air Force because uh, the planes were old, they were tired, and now you have all brand new F-35s coming and others. And uh, your tankers, your bombers, the whole thing, they're all coming. Hopefully, we never have to use it for uh, war, but we're better prepared than we ever have been. when. I came in four years ago, hard to believe, almost four years ago, uh, we were in sad shape, and now we're in phenomenal shape. I, have you seen the difference in the equipment uh, over the last uh, couple of years? Absolutely, sir. Definitely. Yeah. We went from old planes to brand new planes, from, from planes that were very visible to stealth, where you can't see them. Stealth helps. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. If you can't see it, you can't hear it. It's very, no, I, I don't know much about what you do, but I know if you can't see it, I like it better. Anyway, thank you very much. And Tommy, thank you for doing a great job. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. 
So now we're going to a special place in my heart, Space Force, because nobody even thought about Space Force. And uh, I looked at it and I said, uh, I said, we're going to have to come up, we're going to have to do something, because I looked at what China was doing and Russia was doing, others are thinking about doing. And uh, I want to I wanna just uh, thank you very much. Is Matt there? Matt? Mr. President, good afternoon and happy Thanksgiving. This is Lieutenant Colonel Matt Lohmeyer, uh, commander of the 11th Space Warning Squadron. Uh, you can't see everyone in the room, but we've got a number of others here. Uh, grateful for the opportunity to wish you and the First Lady a happy Thanksgiving. And also want to uh, thank you. You've already said what we do, which is provide strategic and theater missile warning for the nation and our allies. But want to thank you personally for your advocacy for an independent uh, space force so that that could become a reality uh, while we serve. Uh, we're very grateful for that. We're making great progress that I don't think we were able to necessarily make while we were um, while we belong to the Air Force. Uh, but having our own independent service has uh, we've made great progress already in the first year. So thank you for your advocacy for that. And on behalf of all of uh, the missile warning operators here at the 11th Space Warning Squadron, we say happy Thanksgiving. That's good. Thank you very much. And you too. And I know the coordination with you and Air Force has been stellar. You're getting along great and you're doing well together. And it really does work well together. But I thought that you should have separate. And as years go by and as decades go by, uh, people will see the importance of Space Force. There's no question about it. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Coast Guard, please. Good afternoon, Mr. President. You and the first lady, your time for coming up to Thanksgiving. I hope you will spend some quality time with them today and uh, enjoy one another's company. I just want to highlight a situation we went through during our free deployment workups uh, in Mississippi, where we experienced a little outbreak of the coronavirus right around the 4th of July time frame. You know, we had a healthy respect for the virus and how it could affect our ability to train and uh, meet our operational commitments. But as a unit, we had a greater confidence in the, uh, in the patriotism and professionalism of the wardroom chief's mess and crew of PSU 308 right behind me, sir. Uh, we were steadfast in our resolve to meet our operational commitments and relieve our sister unit on time and as schedule, sir. We did not back down, but rather uh, we did not let fear or uncertainty dictate our actions. Uh, Mr. President, uh, the men and women of PSU 308 are proud and honored to stand to watch this Thanksgiving in defense of our freedoms. Uh, from our unit, I want to wish, uh, wish, wish you and the rest of the Trump family a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Safe and Prosperous New Year. Keep hitting straight on the golf course, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. <laughs> Straight and long. That's right. Thank you very much. That's great. That's really great. Well, you're a golfer. Do you play golf? You love it, right? That's good. It's pretty good. Thank you very much. The only form of exercise. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, really, everybody, uh, just congratulations. And, you know, I, I have to say, on the Army, we just made a tremendous purchase of equipment, as you know. I think Tim probably... Uh, so that and you you have a lot of equipment coming into the army uh, in particular we really went uh we went for top of the line tim i guess you saw that and you see it pouring in and that's good so uh it's an honor we want to thank you very much tim and thank you i will say this the coast guard nothing and no stock has gone up higher than coast guard the stock in the coast guard the reputation of the coast guard the job you've done on the hurricanes and I think people didn't appreciate it as much as they do now. I can tell you that uh, it's gone very high. Uh, what you've done in Texas and in Florida in particular, in Puerto Rico, the job you did in Puerto Rico, and uh, you go out there in those monster waves and you know, dangerous as can be, even with the new boats and the new ships, uh, then nothing's meant for the kind of waves we saw, especially in Texas. And uh, you went out there and you did your job and you saved thousands of lives, as I said, and uh, I, I really am very proud of the Coast Guard, so I want to really call it out. Thank you very much. Very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great Thanksgiving, and don't eat too much turkey. Thank you.